Hello dear friends, my name is Olivier Mubito from IPRAS Kigali and today we're going to work on the two double acting cylinders, one with proximity sensors and one with limit switches. So we're going to use counter up in PSC ladder program so that we can complete this sequence. Actually when you say A plus, we just mean the positive stroke for the cylinder A and A negative, it is just a negative stroke. And this N stands for the number of strokes that we need to the cylinder B before the cylinder A goes back to the initial position. So here now, we have got already the standby mode and when we start, it goes on on, but the standby mode goes off. So we need to link so that at here the solenoid one will be energized, which will cause the cylinder to move. So the solenoid one will be energized if only the output five got the signal. So we want to have this is the coil for output five. So we are going to put also the program. We're going to program so that when we start here, also the output five get signal. So what we, we just need to do is to copy this. We copy and then we paste. So we link the two here. We're gonna link like this, and then we're gonna call this prox one, which is at uh, which is the proximity switch one, which is in input five. So we link to input five, and then we choose to display prox one. We say this prox one. So finally, this will be the hold on for five. So we search for five. There we go. Now we do once again. We select here, and then we start. You can see now the cylinder one, the cylinder A goes, but it stops. So once it is seen by the prox two, this will cause the the cylinder to to extend. So we need now to supply the output ten or B. So again, we still have to paste the same information here. So we link this to here, just like this, okay, and then this will be prox2, and the, the prox2 is at input 7, input 7, and we're going to display it as a prox2, prox2, which is at input 7, you can see here it is at input 7, and now this is going to be the hold on for 10, so we link it to 10. Okay, that's 10. And then we are done. So now let's see whether also the cylinder to extend where we press here now. There we go. The cylinder to now has gone. But they means there because their lines are still closed. So we need a normally close contact to break this line. So we can pick this and then we drop it here. And uh, since that cylinder stopped uh, to the limit switch 2, so we're going to say this is going to be the limit switch 2, which is at, in, at input 12. So we say that's going to be 12. And we display it as LS2. Okay, now let's see whether something changes. We start once again the operation. There we go. Now it starts to reciprocate several times. Now we are now going to determine the number that we need, like a two, like a four. So this is where now the counter comes in to take the action. So we're gonna use this counter, it's counter one, to count the number of the number that uh, this sensor is being activated. So we need a number open contact and uh, we're going to connect it to here and then we link to this one and we're going to call it ls2 it's going to display the address as ls2 ls2 and then the variable is be at input 12 okay at the same time at the same time, so we are going to extend it for a better view, so let's put it here. So at the same time, we need to, to 
put another normally close contact here between which will be the output of the counter so let us say we say this is the CTU CTU1 we're going to find the CTU1 here CTU1 this is the CTU1 and we display it as CTU CTU1 and then here the preset value is a 2 so we do once again and let us start the operation to see what comes so 1 2 and it remains there because the required information are 2 so we stop here now after using this uh, this information to stop so we're gonna we're gonna use this also information to take this back to proxy one so again we're gonna use the counter two so we use the counter two here and then let us say we do this and it is going to be ls1 and ls1 is at input 10 so we say this is going to be ls1 and is at input 10 and let, then we link to input 10 this is the input 10 and then we close and then we come here on the first coil here and then we're gonna break here we put we copy this and then we paste it here and then we link but this time it's going to be the counter 2 so we search for counter 2 this is the counter 2 and then we display the CTU 2 just like that okay now let's do it once again to see what the change that we have so there we go one two and then they stops so you can see that the, the a is no longer going and the two a didn't wait for two to complete the, the full revolution so we need to reset the counter you know the the two counters are still having the signal here so you can see they so we need to reset we need to reset them and how do we reset them we are going to use uh, the reset coils here we have the reset coil for one so we're going to pick one one uh, normally close normally open contact and then we're going to link this to here and then uh, let us adjust it and then we want we're gonna this one to be counter two the counter two will reset the counter one so let's say ctu uh, ctu2 and then we assign the variable to say this ctu2 that ctu2 okay and then we close and this also counter needs to be reset by the proxy one so we can just copy this proxy one as we have, we have it here and then we press it here so we link okay now let's see the change that we have so we display once again okay now you can see now uh, this, this it is going to be having the, the repeating cycle but even if it is a repeating cycle you can see they are not moving with this sequence so one thing else that we need to do also it is to maintain the cylinder b in b negative so that a can complete the full revolution so how to do it is to put another normally close counter here to hold also to break here but it will be controlled by counter two so we can copy this and then we test it here now this is the counter one counter two and this is the limit switch so let's do it once again to see the change that we have we do it once again there we go one two and then we start once again so you can see now it is respecting the cycle a plus b plus b negative times n and then a negative so for our case a n is two 
is 2 here. So let's change n from 2 like to 4. We have to change up to 4. So we change also that one. 4. So there we go. We start once again. Okay, there we go. We just count. 1, 2, 3, and 4. And then A negative. So you can see that the system is now working correctly. And hope you have understood the way we, we deal with counters in, uh, in the PLC ladder program. And I like the way we work together. So thank you for watching my video. Please subscribe for other videos. Maybe, maybe you have a comment, you have a, I don't know, please share with your friends and thank you.